Hello and welcome back to Mass Cliché Andromeda. Last time I played through the Nexus, which is... The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. The Citadel-like base of operations for our little initiative. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Unfortunately, what happened is that my sound recording software decided to go bonkers and stop recording one third of the way through. Check this toy. Oh god. Fine, I will. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyran Candros for authorization to participate. Alright. Let's speak with mm, Tyran Candros. Liam, buy sell kiosk, whatever is this. Well, obviously it allows me to buy and sell. What the, what? I've got an ultra rare shotgun. Oh no, no I don't. The shop does though, it looks, it looks sweet. It's an N7 shotgun, so naturally. I am fairly pissed at the fact that I lost a lot of my footage. So this is the Tempest, my personal ship. And now I'm going to the bridge for the first time. It is, is exciting indeed. Oh, those lips. It's a very different bridge from my old ships. Well, not mine. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Are you my pilot? Ah, time for introductions. Indeed. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. A pleasure to be met. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Helios? I'll keep us out of trouble. I'm still learning the ropes. Let's motivate the crew, not bum them out. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. Your work? You... I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, ah. I'm itching to see how she performs out here. It does nice, Command Deck. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. I suppose I'm ready for something this big. Well... Crossing Galaxies was big too, big guy. We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. Alright. That face horrifies me. Excuse me. I look horrifying. Excuse me. You are excused. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours, unless you've got something to say for the log. Well, let's see. We got this. Keep dreaming of a home. We're the Nexus' best home. I'm gonna go ahead and be kind of silly. Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds. And we'll beat them again. Aww. You know it, I know it. So let's show them what we've got. So positive. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Who needs to be serious when you can be ridiculous and with these scary, awful eyes, too? Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Basically, what you missed in the Nexus is that a lot of people. To Eos, then. What would have been our habitat one? Do not. Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Nice map. Anyway, Nexus people don't like each other, not at all. There, uh, there have been some pretty big trouble. Humans have been exiled from the Nexus, and this, uh, it's not nice. Not even a little bit. Go to Eos in the Pythias system. That is my purpose. Ericsson, 
named for Stephen Erickson, the writer of the Malazan Books of the Fallen, of course, probably. Probably not, but that's besides the point. Now, I think that we shall have to go straight where we are told. Oh, God. Is this uh, going to be an animation? System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Alright, if you recommend it, I will do it. It's not like I've got the time to lollygag. Activating scanners. Let's hope this is not as awful as last time. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. Well, it does not look much better than the scanning in Mass Effect 2. Just to disembark the Tempest. Of course I do. Why would one have a ship if one doesn't disembark it constantly? The loadout screen allows you to choose your equipment and squadmates before embarking on a mission. Charger... Let's see, assault rifles. I want my assault rifle with me. So this is the assault rifle. The Avenger. Charger. Let's go with the Predator, eh? Now, as for mods, whatever can I put? Pistol Receiver 1. Plus 40% pistol penetration damage and 1 pistol ammo penetration distance. Seems to work. Yeah. Obviously. Wonder if I have anything for my assault rifle. I seem to have plenty. Plus 11% assault rifle damage. Let's put this on. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and take a bigger cliff. Clip size. Pardon, not a cliff. What would I do with a cliff anyway? Combat fitness 3 extra holster. Alright, so I need to unlock those. Let's see. Do I have any bonuses? Seem to have something new. Or not. Consumables. Shield capacitors. Incendiary ammo. Excellent. So nothing I can change, eh? Liam and Coro. Confirm loadout. Not like I've got plenty of choice right now. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Indeed, you should. Tallow. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across Indeed, the board. Indeed, the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. Much better. Amazing. A flaming orb in space. What? They said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. <gasps> is that but actual character development? Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Oh, no. It's just a more cliched writing. Oh, sorry. You okay? Well... The uncertainty ends with us. I'm cold-blooded and badass. Of course I'm okay. We didn't come millions of light years to die in a different place. I'm not letting the initiative down. And neither are you, that soldier. Fine. The Tempest checks out. We're good. Amazing. 
could have dunk it. What's up with my ridiculous choice of clothes? Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. The part I'm the most upset about that you guys didn't see is actually that you didn't get to see the interaction between me and Sam and the progression system around the artificial intelligence and you didn't get to understand more about our connection which I'm sure you have to find out in some way I'm sure I will be able to oblige if I decide to make a full playthrough of this game, which I am not at all there. certain Set that I want to do. Oh, look! It's alien space trees! How do I know that? It's because they have blue things. And having blue things on something is... Automatically, it makes it alien. Amazing. How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the sky. Oh, more deadly storms! The was incomplete due to environmental hazards and all. Whoops. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, knew. Who else is here? They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. But they didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Doors getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site one issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Oh, such excitement! Looking for code. codes. We can't open it without codes. Yeah. What is that? This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. I suppose so. Nope, nothing here. Let's take the codes and go. Got a code lock key. Oh, I can activate the terminal. Play audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Prop swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Or you will be dead as well. This making is impossible for you to say anything. Let's see then. What shall we find here? Information perhaps? Someone living? I doubt it, but it is possible, I suppose. Everything in this whole galaxy is new. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Let's see. People are talking here, saying that Eos isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. And now that you're going to say, I didn't sign up for the initiative to stay trapped in a floating tin can. And I promise you can have your adventure. Later, when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mum told me to make sure you don't get in over your head. And that's what I'm doing. At least think about it, for me. And check in more often. I've started to adopt Mum's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Yeah, if you want to read any of those, you can pause in them. I'm just going to scan quickly through them. Because time is... of the essence. Ooh. The slight horror themes in the music. Interesting. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. 
The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. It would be really nice if I could just loot items while the conversations happen. The only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this relay tower. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way. Ooh, interesting. I believe I can build weapons with this. Hey, but up close, it's a hellscape. Things for Oh, there's more. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. And I'm willing to bet that you did. Happens to the best of us. This does. Wait a second. Did I see something? Hmm. No, I read this already. Sit over me. Let's see. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Yay for ridiculous collectibles lying on the ground. That's what I loved about Dragon Age Origins. Oh, Structure no, ahead. wait, I hated it. It fits the profile of a power relay station Pathfinder. It's inoperable Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without power. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings. Well, that warms my heart. So I suppose I should look for another way in. Will this do? Oh, there's a console. Perhaps we can do something fancy with it. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm here to help, of course. No, identify yourself. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait. Ryder? As in power Exactly. Fighting. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Leave the Ket to me. I will slaughter help them all. Help me with the power relay and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Yes, it is. Okay. I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger? It's on you. All right. Thank you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Amazing. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. What? Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Where? Alright. So I am not exactly useful to reach everything with my jetpack, but I might as well try. Hey, you've got jet boots, I think. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Or he's a part-time salvager. We've got company. Where? That's where. Whoops. Totally the wrong thing to do. Come on, lads. 
This ain't your grandma's tea party. Whoa. Should wait for my shields to recharge. Reload. And then get going. Okay, I um, haven't recharged my shield yet. See, now we're doing it. Ah, yes, flamethrowers. Oh, it's a good idea. Oi, you killed my lot. Amazing. That felt really nice. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. Excellent. But where? Up there again? All right. I should probably remove my weapon. Don't want to seem like I'm intruding in this here lot. Hey, lot. You took down all those cat. Of course I did. Sure. Use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. Is that so? A ride? Are you offering? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. And you didn't take it. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. <laughs> Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Do you buy and sell? Get to a safe location. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Oh, lovely. Let's see. One, I suppose I can... Sell a lot of this junk. Please tell me there's a better way. Yeah, sell salvage. Confirm trade. Really? I have to go through this every single time. This I will keep. Any other salvage? Or was that all? I probably sold it all. Yeah. Thinking that's what I did. Crazy Blue? Is that how you call me now? Is that my nickname? Indian name? Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Maybe this time we should carry additional helmets, just that to be safe. That feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter Whatever of said. are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. What is it, about vehicle Clancy mentioned? The alien structures all over the place. A quiet under the viability point. His visibility increases by five percent. Pistol scope. Yes, I like that. Oh, and a mattock. Let's see. Wait, what kind of weapon is it? All right, let let us not equip it then. I made the slight mistake of just. All right. Wonder if I can. No. Oh, yes. Really, <laughs> Ryder. Funny. I'll admit, I enjoy walking on my own ship. Whoops. Wrong buttons. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. How do I This must be what Clancy enter. meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Ah. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Go down a forward station. How do I do that? I suppose I will find out soon enough. I use this blue T. No, it's a. Uh... Automated protocols activated. Four stations are auto deployed from. Station. Yeah. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Yeah, I can change my loadouts on those. Let's see. All right. 
So I first of all, I really want to change. Yep, done. Second of all, let us see what this is better at. Common assault rifle, uncommon assault rifle. 62 plus 26 damage. Slower rate of fire. Smaller clip size. And less maximum ammo. But the accuracy is greater. Sure, let's try it out. I mean, what's the point of doing stuff if we don't not try them out all the time? Let's see if I can... Oh, I can actually remove mods from one item and put them in another. That is useful. I actually think that some extra clip size is going to be doing wonders for me. So let's go ahead and prepare. Forward station protocol initiated. Uh, there's not much initiative. As always, you can pause and read all of this if you care. And here as well. Let's see now how the vehicle controls will pan out to be. Looks like a sweet ride. Very bulky. I don't mind. Vertical thrust upgrade. Blueprint. Improved suspension. Blueprint. By the way, I'm sure there are plenty of things I could have gone ahead and checked out. But honestly, I do not care. Check both forward and reverse, would you? I see. So all I had to do was press the right middle mouse button. Remember the nomads Squeak. jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Alright. That's useful to know. I may have not mentioned this, but I really hate driving sections in games like this one. Oh, this seems like something I could mine. Nothing? Nothing at all? Huh. Oh, Alright. I suck so much at this. Ever disobeyed an order, Cora? In my soldier days? No, that's kind of the point. Is that mechanical? You never thought about it. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. Interesting. What's that? Up on that piece with the scaffolding. Yeah, I can see it as well. But I want to know what it is, not where it is. It seems interesting. This is one of the first... It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Alright. I could provide it. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Alright, so go ahead and do that. How the hell do I get up there? I suppose that's the way. Yep. Whoops. Excellent. It's slippery, but there's a great view. Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment? Actually, up the view is really, really nice. Especially this here. 
Looks good. That should complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Whoops. I know that I probably won't get any falling damage, but it feels weird not to Building at least I slow down my fall. Seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this. Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Hello, PB. Back off, or I will push you down! Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. Let what ride? I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be alright. Trust me, okay? Okay! Beautiful Asari woman. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Alright, so her face animations right now are actually really, really nice. And her skin just popped into the foreground and it looks good. <laughs> you think? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times to make sure. <laughs> that, no, that's, that's okay. That's You're amusing. Obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Ooh. Are we flirting now? Oh my god, my well, smile was look at that. horrifyingly sexual. Predatory even. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Uh-oh. What? Oh crap. What? I know these things from Habitat 7. Later, just take them out. Keep targeting that one. They make a little bot. Where are the rest? Whoops. Stabby, stabby. I just really want to shotgun. All right. This, this weapon I really like. Whoops. Wrong button. Nice! That felt really good. Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. Yeah, I know. The remnant? Tell us more. These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. Well, but and so you named long. them the remnant. I long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Good to meet you. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months, and then you arrive and poof, solved. I saw this tech. You're charmingly naive, aren't you? We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh? Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Yeah, radiation is easy to fix like that. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure, just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. You're not coming? This planet's all kinds of strange. I actually expected you to come along. Anyway... Nice meeting you. No, already scanned that out. Maybe this will give me another point or two. Oh, a little sandstorm dune thing, a jingy. What the hell is my initiative hey, shuttle? You came in the shuttle? Not many other ways to get here from the Nexus. Careful, I've got some interesting finds in there. Oh, that almost makes me curious. What was that? Yeah, control, of course. 
I should probably check to see how it works. Just to know to use it. Alright. So. Not this way, probably. What? A quest? I should probably go get it. Yeah. Let's go. Might as well. Right then. Don't die! That That's some nice acceleration, by the way. Nice. I like the controls. Feels good and meaty and serious. You wish to speak with me? Oh no, you just want to sell me things. Items, stuff. The fail Let's see, where is this quest? Clear here was expensive, Pathfinder. It's worn all of us down, not just our shuttles. Hmm. I'm still so new to this. I'm according to my own seemingly awful abilities to find stuff in a very wrong direction, actually. Never mind. How about now? Hello, blue blinking thing that should have given me away. What the? Alright, let's open this door and see what's inside. Sorry for the little you know, cut. The outpost research center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. Alright. This is vital. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Research, technology, these are the things I soon over. Especially when they're right. I wonder if this will be the case. Element Zero. I remember that. From previous games. Activate. Power relay. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Alright. So I just built here, correct? Can I remove the waypoint? Oh, I there is no waypoint. I'm a ridiculous man sometimes. Okay, so it's activated. Question is. What exactly do I do to weapon building? Maybe here. Just... Ugh. My ability to notice things is ridiculous. Research. Select research to unlock new blueprints and augments by spending research data. So that's Milky Way research data. I've got 90 of that. Spend research data. Earned from scanning to unlock new weapon and armor blueprints. Also gain access to powerful augmentations. Let's see what augmentations would those be. Aerial Lubricant. This is a special augmentation. You may apply one such augmentation to an item during the development process. When hovering, plus 35 rate of fire. Nice. Interesting. I like this. Quite a lot. Let's take a look at the weapons. There are many of them. A cyclone assault rifle. Interesting. How about armor? Let's craft some armor. 
N7 arms, chest, helmet. Ooh, that looks badass. Let's let's make this. Level 5 and... Alright, let's start off with... It gives me 2% max shields and 3% biotic power damage. And it requires a lot of things that I do not have. But hey, I can research it. I see. So there are all kinds of different research types available. Interesting. So I've got the most hideous research data, which is understandable. Select a blueprint or augmentation hit space to research it. Alright. So I can basically research this chest without having the requirements to build it. It's an ultra rare blueprint. So let's go ahead and do it. Are you sure you want to research this project? The blueprint will be added to the development branch of the research and development terminal. You can launch the development once you have gathered all of the required resources. Researching weapons or armor adds their blueprints to the development screen where they can be crafted, which requires plenty of resources. Oh, and I've got remnant research tech as well. Tech, pardon. Let's go for weapons. Sweeper. Oh, these weapons look sweet. The particle accelerator weapon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Continuously high energy particle beam with incredible accuracy. Interesting. I don't have nearly enough though. That's alright, that's alright. A shotgun, I would love to make one. But... Not enough. I have to admit, I really, really like what I'm seeing with the crafting system. Seems to have plenty of options to which you can tailor your own tastes. For example, if I want laser-based weapons, I will obviously go the remnant way. If I want typical human-like weapons that I'm used with from past games, I am obviously going to go the Milky Way research. And I've got to research the helmet. Hey! That's better. And now I can go to the development part, which actually lets me build the weapons themselves. Press X to learn more about the materials required to craft each blueprint. Alright, so I've got plenty of explanation. That's alright. Oh, interesting. So I suppose I will have to look for a lot of items if I want to find them. For example, where can I find remnant cores? Let's see if this will tell me. Acquisition of these cores may be acquired by defeating remnant architects in the wild and interfacing with them, or by discovering them inside vaults. That, that seems like a lot of work. But it does not surprise me. It is an ultra rare piece of equipment after all. I'll just probably check out any weapons I can. Balance pistol. I think I've got that one. M3. Actually, do I? I don't. And it's better than mine, I think. Let's let's craft it. Sounds great. Let's see if I can equip it. Somehow. Oh, and I need a lot of copper to upgrade my Nomad. That's alright. Cool. I think I even got some more items. That's nice. I even got some experience out of this whole thing. Awesome. I really like this. I like that they have doubled down on the whole RPG 
mechanics around customization of your armor, weapons, consumables, and so on and so forth. This makes me happy. Really, really happy. We will go back to the main quest next time. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, this has been surprisingly fun. Maybe. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to see more, click on one of the boxes that just appeared, or that have been there all along. I don't know how this stuff works. What am I, a prophet?